Good evening. Five days of frustration has boiled over as stranded workers lashed out at protesters dancing and playing dead in the city. Sam Cucciara is alongside the activists at Carlton Gardens. Now, Sam, it's not over yet. That's certainly right, Pete, and we're being warned tonight's disruption could be the biggest yet as we go to air right now. This is the scene here at Carlton Gardens. These Extinction Rebellion activists are right now beginning to march to a secret location in the city. If we'll spin that way, you can see the massive police presence that are also uh, here tonight, and they're right now trying to guess exactly where these protesters are going. Of course, they have not been cooperating with police. This uh, caps off a wild day of rallies in the city that's seen tensions boiling over. Roadblocked on Burke Street, this fed up pedestrian takes out his frustration first on the climate activists. Sorry. And then on us. What do you think about these protests? What do you think? I don't what know. Do you think what, about I, listen, listen. Wait, wait. The CBD gridlock entering day five with a walking disco stopping traffic. Yeah. Protesters play dead in the Burke Street Mall before partying on, but for drivers stuck in the traffic, it was anything but. All week they've been doing this. Earlier, the Extinction Rebellion blockaded the Melbourne headquarters of mining giants BHP and Rio Tinto. The so-called peaceful protests overshadowed by the rebels shoving workers trying to get inside. <laughs> The protest bolstered by those previously arrested throughout the week, an order banning them from returning, thrown out by a magistrate. Basically an attempt to prevent us from participating in legal protests uh, and the magistrate recognised that it was a, um, a tactic basically to intimidate us. Police warned workers to leave the city early as council set its sights on the activists' makeshift camp, issuing five compliance notices for illegally erected structures in the Carlton Gardens. Our officers have been uh, up at Carlton Gardens every day until late into the evening, early in the morning, where we have seen camps and we have asked the tents to be taken down. Perhaps the worst is yet to come, with a nudie run and mass protest planned for the weekend. Sam Kuchiara, Nine News.